Hello. I'm back again. My friend has given me another little package of just bits and pieces. So I'm going through them and I'm making a little little layers and embellishments out of them. So first I'm just making layers. So this is the first one that I did. That's so pretty and I just put it on the black cardstock. This is a dark green. Real, real dark green. That's so pretty. So I'm thinking, let's see. Oh, let's see what color contrast would that be nice with. We do have this. That would probably be pretty. Oh yes, let's do that. That's sharp. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and put that on there. And I'm still playing around with this silly silly glue. It's really pretty. All right. That's pretty. Okay. Next. Alrighty. I've got another piece of that. I've got more gray. Oh, she saved these little scraps for me, and I, I sat there and punched out a bunch of um little butter or dragonflies rather that she has while I was still at her house so that's fun okay now this needs another piece of that yellow because that's just so pretty what is that from I've got a whole stack of these um, oh these were from the backs of the greeting card sleeves that's right the things that separate the greeting cards when I was in this store last week then the Hallmark lady was there and she had a whole stack of those sleeves that separate all the cards. And I said, oh, are you throwing those away? And she said, yes. And I said, may I have them? And she said, of course. So I grabbed them quickly and walked away before she changed her mind. <laughs> of course, saying thank you first. <laughs> Alrighty. I might save that on the bottom because I have neat punches that I can do neat bottoms. All right, so this needs Another nice solid color, let's see. That blue, could do a blue. Hmm, that's an idea. Oh, I've got these squares here. Will they fit on any of Will these fit on here? Ooh, that's pretty. All right, that needs to be trimmed. That's pretty on that. Definitely, all righty. Let's do that one. I like doing this because it gives me something else to work with. And by doing one layer already, then that's pretty neat. It gives me a little bit of a head start. All right, let's see. This one will fit on one of these. That will fit on here. Oh yes, that's pretty too. squares or give it to me on a flat rack attack that's cute okay alrighty these ones I'm gonna need something a little bit bigger than these so let's wrap these ones back up and let's see oh, I've got this pretty red too that might be nice and this piece of yellow and what else I've got all different colors in here let's see if any of these will work though red looks like that would pull that out oh yes that fits will that fit on that way or this way 
it'll fit that way. If I do it this way, I can fit them both on it, and then I can do this for a smaller one. All right, so we're going to do that. Get the most out of what, what we have to use. All right, you're getting stopped up again. Wish I could reach in and just grab that clump. Ugh. Oh, kitty cat hair. Oh, no, that wasn't kitty cat hair. All right. I thought it was, but it wasn't. It was just a bloop of glue. Way too much on there, so that's a good way to use it. <laughs> All right, that looks better. So let's put this one on first layer, and this one on second. There, okay, and then we can turn this over and rub that on, and yes, I'm definitely gluing this onto packaging. Great. All right, I think I'll just leave that together like that and let those dry. Okay, move those over there. And let's see what else we've got. We've got this one. Does that go on the yellow? Yes, but I don't like that as much. And that has a raggedy edge. There, that's better. This is a pretty color. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, that's definitely going to go on there. Yep. Nice. Okay. Then we can trim that side off. one. All right, so let's see if we can find a color for that one. That is pretty, isn't it? Ooh, there you go. I'm going to put it on there, and then I can cut this in half. Why not do that or the dark? Ooh, I like that color better. All right, let's put it on that one. So I just need a little skinny edge, and I can still use that neat punch that I'm thinking of. That'll be neat. Okay, that's a good idea. And this pretty gray. That is just gorgeous. Gray on yellow. And this yellow. Oh, right down the center. That's pretty. and this little fella that's pretty all right let's do that very nice triangles are going to stay as is, but these pieces, I definitely want to put on a, another color, so I'm thinking this pink on that gray, that's really pushing it, huh? I should just throw that one away. Oh, 
She threw it away, guys. She threw it away. Oh, my heck. My grandson, my first grandson used to love to say, what am I heck? What am I heck? Huh, mom, mom? What am I heck? <laughs> he thought he was saying something really funny when he'd say, instead of what the heck, then he'd say, what am I heck? Silly boy. Nice, 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 okay. Alrighty, so now these, I can either leave them as is or I can 3D them. I think I'm just gonna leave them. Yep. I know I'll use them like this. This one's kind of cut funky, isn't it? Let's throw that one away. That's weird. Okay, so these will be used as is. These can now be used as embellishments on cards. I can decorate them even more. And these tiny little strips can go on. I can create a background and do my strip cards. So, as a matter of fact, let's glue those down. Let's make a little background out of them right now. That's a good idea. All right, so we have a card right here. We can hold that over. Bone folder. All righty, let's see what we've got here. The tallest ones. Actually, that looks kind of nice the way it is. There. So let's go ahead and glue these down. I just want to fix this one because that's got kind of a funky tip there. Alrighty. There. Now let's go ahead and glue this down and this will make a neat looking card. little strips like this so I can just play around with them just put them down I think this one needs to go next because this is taller
ever done this? <clears throat> Made a card like this. Just throw the scraps right on there. And call it done. I'll probably put words or something right across it. Yep. All right, that looks neat. Cool. What a nifty looking card. Alrighty, so that one's on there already. This can be cut in half. Those will be pretty. Here and then have it long the, on that edge. That's a good idea. This one I'll leave. This one needs to be cut. Very good. And when I want to adjust is this one here because it's got a curvature going on there. So let's take these and curve it on up. Ta da! There. That's much better. Alrighty. So we've got that all done. Put this needle back in here. There. We've just got these wee little scraps left to play with in these pieces. So I'm happy with what I got done this time. So I hope you enjoyed this playing around with little bitty scraps today. If you did and you got a couple ideas, then if it's, hopefully it's triggered something for you. So if you do, then please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.